This is the part four of our CSS mastery series and I am really excited that we are bringing more and more projects to our channel and uh, this is the project that we are going to cover and this is a simple effect that we can achieve with the box shadow effect and if you don't know how you can achieve this effect uh, just watch this video until the end so that you guys can get the idea how you can achieve it. As usual, we have just added the boilerplate like we have added the Google Fonts and custom CSS and linking to the CSS file. And in this CSS, we only write the universal reset uh, and uh, resizing our uh, and setting the size to 1 RAM equal to 10 pixels. And these are just the initial styles. The first step uh, in order to create that type of effect is using like we are using the container just to just to center align all the things in the middle of the screen and then we need to add the anchor tag and i'm assigning it a class btn and create more and i am just putting it here hash let's look into the output so uh, this is the output read more okay this is the button that we have just created and the next step is to uh, start adding these styles you know I'm just targeting button mm, this button okay for that I'm just adding display inline block padding 1 RAM which will be like uh, 10 pixels and 5 RAM which will be like 50 pixels I don't want any underline so I'm just setting it to text decoration none and cursor i want is pointer just in case uh, instead if we do not want to use the anchor and we want to use the button uh, uh, tag so that we will have all the styles in sync already font family i'm just telling it inherit and font size 2 ram which is 20 pixels and background color e74c3c okay you can use whatever color you desire i'm just putting it here color four color white border none this is the output and uh, border radius i want it to be like 80 pixels when i hover over it i want to apply the book shadow 0 x direction 0 y direction and i do not want uh, any any blur radius but i want the spread radius and you will see how spread radius works just to show you i'm just adding a red color here so it's spreading the technique is to use the multiple css shadows so how we can do it we just put the comma and then 0, 0, 0, 0.6 ram and then i'm just adding a color which is our button main color and then you can see the color is spreading so the technique is just utilize the background color for the button container so the button container is uh, utilizing the body color okay so this is the this is how you can do it all we need is to just add the transition transition which is box shadow and 0.3 second so this is how you can achieve it if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe this channel give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to share with others i will see you in the next project